Right, let's talk about colour. So this is um, the colour spectrum, our starting point, which you've probably seen before, and I hope so anyway, uh, where you've got red at this end, and then you're all the way over to violet at this end. And you probably know that all these colours together make up white light. But actually we can make up white light from just the three primary colours. And the three primary colours of light, at least, are red, green and blue. And when you put red, green and blue together, you get white. And what we're going to talk about now is what happens with various different coloured surfaces when light falls on those surfaces and what colour they end up looking compared to what light is falling on them. Uh, because the pigments in different coloured surfaces r interact differently with different colours of light. So I don't know what I don't know about you, um, but I've got uh, a pair of red socks on. So why are my socks red, for example? Well, let's have a look at this red object. So here we've got um, three colours of light. We've got red, green, and blue. So we've actually got white light, uh, which is incident on this red surface. And the reason this red surface is red at all is because the green and the blue are actually absorbed by the red surface and the red light is reflected. So that's why it looks red, because only the red light is reflected and that's what we see, that's the light that comes off the object. Similarly, for a green surface, we have white light falling on it. The red and the blue are absorbed by the surface or the object, and the green light is reflected. And for the blue one, here comes the white light, the red and the green gone, and what you end up with is blue light being reflected because the others have been absorbed, and that's why it looks blue. Okay, so that's quite straightforward, um, but what about uh, secondary colours? So let's have a look at the secondary colours themselves. So this is the colour mixing chart here. Um, I've done another little video of actually producing this in practice, but here's the, the actual diagram. So we've got our primary colours around the outside, red, green, blue. Now when you mix red and blue light together, what you end up with is magenta. So magenta is a secondary colour, which is the product of red and blue. When you mix blue and green light together, you get another secondary colour, which is cyan. And then when you mix red and green light together, you end up with a third secondary colour, which is yellow. So yellow, magenta, and cyan are the secondary colours. And when you mix all three primary colours together, so red, blue, and green, you end up with white. So that's all three added together. Typically, as well, if you mix yellow and blue with each other, that's the same as mixing red, green, and blue together, so you get white that way, or magenta and green, or cyan and red, etc. Okay, so that's how the colours add up. So let's write those down here. So when we add red and blue together, we get magenta. When we, get, when we mix red and green together, we get yellow. And when we mix blue and green together, we get cyan. And when we mix them all together, we end up with white. So let's have a look with some secondary colours about um, what's happening. So here we have... Uh, white light falling on a cyan surface. Now, cyan, as we talked about here, this one, is a mixture of blue and green. So what's happening here is the red light is being absorbed, gone, and the blue and the green are being reflected, which is why we see the object as cyan, because cyan is a mixture of blue and green, and that's what our eyes see. Here we have a magenta object. So when white light falls on the magenta object, we have the green being absorbed because magenta is a mix of red and blue and we have the red and the blue emitted or sorry reflected which uh, which makes cyan oh sorry which makes magenta uh, because magenta is red and blue and the third combination is yellow and with yellow that's a combination of red and green so when white light falls on that you only get the red and the green reflected. So effectively the colour that you get depends on what the which primary colours the light and the surface have in common. So there are all three primary colours in, in these incoming lights here but the only two that you get back are the same as the two uh, colours, primary colours that make up the colour of the surface. So red and blue are reflected because red and blue are make up magenta. 
Yellow is red and green, and therefore you get the red and green reflected. So let's have a, let's have a slightly more different one. Um, let's have another magenta surface. Here we are. It's a little bit pink, but it's the best colour I've got. And let's have um, let's have it in yellow light. So we've got yellow light coming in. Don't know if you can see that. Let's just make that a bit thicker. Yellow light. So the question is, what colour will this uh, surface look when you put the magenta in yellow light? So yellow is a mix of red and green. And magenta is a mix of red and blue. So this will only reflect red and or blue light. The only lights coming in are red and green, which make up the yellow. So you may have guessed by now that the light that is reflected from the surface is only the red light that's incident, because that's the only primary colour that the two objects have in common. So red light would be reflected, and the object would look red. So if something magenta is put into yellow light, let's say that you're on stage or somebody's on stage and they're wearing uh, like a pinky magenta -y top and there's a yellow spotlight on them, that top would actually look red. Yeah, so that's how that works. It's the primary colour that the two, or colours, that the two objects have in common, the light and the uh, surface itself. Okay, and that's the colour that you will see. Moving on a little bit, um, let's have a look at filters. Now, filters are very similar to surfaces in the way they treat coloured lights, except rather than reflecting, they will actually transmit light through them. And they will only transmit light of their own colour through the filter. So here we've got a filter which is red. So it's a primary colour filter. We have white light falling on the filter, and it will absorb all other colours except red just in the same way that a surface will absorb all other colours um, except its own, but the surface will reflect the colour and the filter will transmit the colour. Right? So the red filters absorb all except for red, giving you red light coming through. Same here, got all colours uh, incident on this blue filter, and blue is the only one that it lets through, and similarly for the green one. Um, secondary colour filters... Exactly the same, except they will let through the two primary colours that make up the secondary colour that they are. So here comes white light. Here comes, here's a magenta filter. Magenta is blue, sorry, red and blue. And so red and blue are the ones that get through, which means it looks magenta. Same for cyan. Cyan is blue and green. And yellow is red and green. So you will see this one as cyan because blue and green light add up to cyan and you will see this one as yellow because red and green add up to yellow. Again, let's try a slightly more complicated one. So this time let's have a, another yellow filter here. Let's just colour that in so you can see it. That's a yellow filter. So yellow is made up of red and green. And let's have another... Um, well, let's have... I haven't got a cyan colour here, I don't think, have I? Yeah, OK, let's have cyan. So we've got cyan light coming in, right? There's our, there's our cyan light. And the question here, again, is what colour will that look on the other side? So cyan is made up of blue and green. So again, you have to ask yourself, which primary colours do these two things have in common? And um, we have red and green, and we have blue and green. So we have green and we have green. So the only thing that they've got in common, and that's what it will transmit, is green. So because it will block the blue light, it will absorb the blue light and only let through the green. So the light on the other side of this filter is going to look green. So the filter will turn green in uh, cyan light. Okay, so exactly the same thing. They will only let through um, the primary colour or colours that the two objects have in common. OK, so here there's only one thing in common, green, and that's what you get. All right, so that's how filters work.